In the previous video, we introduced consumer behavior and discussed its importance for developing a customer-oriented marketing strategy. In this video, we will examine the way consumers make decisions about purchasing by exploring the five different stages of the consumer decision-making process. In their daily lives, all consumers have their own needs and these needs lead to different decisions. Purchasing decisions can vary in terms of complexity. There are times when buying a product or service can be quite straightforward and times when you actually put a lot of effort to make up your mind about which brand or product to buy. A simple model that clearly illustrates how consumers make their purchasing decisions is that which breaks down the whole buying process in five distinctive stages. These are the recognition of a need or problem, the searching for information, the comparing of alternatives, the actual purchase, and finally, the post-purchase evaluation. Let us consider an example. Imagine you just came back home from work and your belly starts making noises. You realize that you're getting hungry and that you don't have any ready food at home nor ingredients to cook something. Here, we're at the first stage of the process where you recognize a need and a problem that urges for a solution. Recognition of a problem arises in this situation where an individual realizes the difference between the actual state of affairs and the desired state of affairs. You feel hungry and you need to do something about it. Moreover, different situations and circumstances lead a person to consider purchasing something. You could have make, made something to eat, but you were tired and there weren't any ingredients for cooking in the flat, so you came up with the idea of ordering takeaway. Along with the aspect of recognition, it is important to understand the nature of the consumer needs. In general, human needs can fit into two different categories. There are psychological needs and there are functional or physical needs. Psychological needs are the outcome of the emotional feelings of consumers, whereas functional or physical needs are usually the results of necessity. In our case, hunger would represent a physical need. The same product or service may address different needs for each customer. Eating pizza at home could be for someone the solution to their hunger, that would be a physical need, or comfort food, to uplift their spirit, that would be a psychological need. For this reason, you should try to envision your product or service as a solution to several problems. Promotion strategies also play an important role here since they can stimulate the recognition of a problem or need. Because sometimes consumers might not be aware of their needs for a specific product until they encounter with an advertisement or the product itself. Let's now assume that you decide to order takeaway. You rush to the cupboard where you keep a pile of brochures from local restaurants. You put them on the coffee table in front of you. For an instant, you feel grateful that you have been carefully storing these brochures all these months for a case of emergency. This is the second stage of the decision-making process, where customers are actively in search of information that will help them make a choice. This next stage of the model is information search. Once the need is recognized, consumers are likely to search for more product-related information before making a purchase decision. Individuals are involved in the process of searching for information differently, depending on their knowledge about the product, their previous experience or purchases and on external information such as feedback from others. Information search can be divided in two types, the internal search and the external search. In internal search, consumers compare alternatives based on their own experiences, memories and knowledge. In contrast, External search happens when consumers actively search for information from their environment. This could include marketer control communication, reseller information, third-party independent organizations, 
such as articles from newspapers and magazines, information from interpersonal sources such as friends and family, and information taken from direct inspe inspection like ob observing a product or interfering, interfering with a product. In our example, brochuring promotional material to collect information about different takeaways represent this external type of search for information. Note that an increasing number of individuals are nowadays turning to various resources in the internet when researching for information about product categories or brands. Among internet users, online, online user reviews and forums appear to have a significant impact up upon this information search stage of the consumer decision-making process. What would it be today, you think? Indian, Chinese or some nice crusty pizza? You are already hungry and these pictures of food on the leaflets are torturing you. A buy one, get one free offer catches your eye. It's from a local pizzeria just one block away. This option feels right. It will be quick and inexpensive. You decide this is the solution to your problem. This is the third step of the process where consumers compare alternative options in order to make a decision. This stage is considered to be the most important stage during the whole consumer decision-making process. In this stage, consumers analyze all information obtained, they consider various alternative products and services and compare them in order to make the right choice that corresponds to their particular needs and wants. Various attributes of the product, such as size, quality, brand and price, are considered at this stage. Consumers will attach different degrees of importance to each attribute. Brand image, that is, the set of beliefs that consumers hold about a particular brand, plays an important part here. Consumers develop a set of brand beliefs about where each brand stands on its attribute and evaluate brands according to such beliefs. Successful marketing strategies could strengthen brand image by reinforcing specific consumer perceptions about a brand's attributes or changing them according to what the consumers feel as important or even try to shape the list of attributes that buyers consider or the importance attached to these attributes. In our example, Attributes important for the selection of alternatives could be price and offers, like the one buy one get one free, taste and delivery times. This process of evaluation of alternatives depends on the individual consumer and the specific buying situation. In some cases, consumers may use careful calculations and logical thinking whereas in other cases they might do little or no evaluating and instead buy on impulse and rely on their intuition. Evaluation can sometimes be difficult and time-consuming and other times quite straightforward. This is because it is sometimes hard to find an ideal product or service that satisfies completely the needs of the consumer as there are numerous factors that hinder the consumer purchasing decision process. Factors such as age, culture, taste and disposable, disposable income affect greatly this stage of the purchase decision making process. We will explore further th these factors influencing consumer behavior at another video. But let's go back to our story. You dial the number and place an order. Your pizza is just 15 minutes away. Waiting for the delivery person, you look for cash. When the doorbell rings, you are already with the exact amount of money at hand ready for the transaction. You open the door and make the exchange. You thank the delivery person and rush to the kitchen to open the pizza box. This stage involves the actual purchase of a product and or service. After the evaluation process, the consumer will have ranked alternatives and will have thus formulated a purchase intention. Usually, the consumer's 
purchase decision will be to buy the most preferred brand. However, two factors can come between the intention and the actual purchase decision. The first factor is the attitudes of others about this decision. That means, for example, what important others would think about your decision. And the second is some unexpected situation that might, uh, might arise. For example, a decision to postpone the purchase due to another need that came up which is more important or urgent. A consumer's decision to change, postpone or avoid a purchase is influenced heavily by perceived risk. Most purchase decisions involve some degree of risk, which varies according to the amount of money at stake, the amount of purchase uncertainty and the amount of self-confidence from the side of the consumer. Usually the consumer will take certain actions to reduce this risk for example, by researching heavily before the purchase or looking for well-known brands and warranties. To this end, marketing can add the consumer by providing information and support to reduce this risk. In our story, the restaurant brochure could provide explicit information, for example, about the ingredients. But let's go back to our story. Finally, you have the pizza in your hand and it's now time to eventually relieve your hunger. It wasn't only inexpensive and quick, you think. It was also delicious, perhaps even tastier than you expected. A couple of hours later, your friend calls. You can't wait to tell her about your dinner and how delicious it was. To your surprise, she mentions that she knows the place and it is actually her favorite one. While listening to your friend praising their delicious food, you think you have made the correct choice. This is the final stage in the process of consumer decision making, where consumers evaluate their actual purchase decision. When consumers' expectations are met with the perceived performance of the product or service, the consumer will be satisfied with the purchase. When perceived performance exceeds expectations, the consumer will be delighted, as in our story. Consumers base their expectations upon messages they receive from sellers, friends and other information resources. Dissatisfaction will occur when the consumer feels that expectations were not met due to various, various reasons and their responsibility usually is placed upon the seller. Imagine in our story how disappointed you would have felt if the delivery person informed you that the price offer was not valid anymore and you had to pay for both pizzas. The larger the gap between expectations and perceived performance, the greater the dissatisfaction felt by the consumer. Why is it so important to satisfy the consumer? Because sales come from two groups new consumers and returning consumers, and it is usually more cost-effective to retain current ones than to attract new ones. A satisfied consumer will keep buying your products and services, would talk favorably to others about your brand, and will not pay that much attention to competing brands and advertising. By understanding consumer needs and developing appropriate marketing strategies for all five stages of the consumer decision-making process, from problem recognition to post-purchase evaluation, you can deliver better value for your customers. You can keep customers happy in returning and build a strong brand image.